you know, just like I'm in a point right now where I'm rededicating myself back to him, to where I used to be. I have a personal relationship, but I used to be in a deeper place in God. And one thing about where I was spiritually, I was so in tune with God that it would probably scare you. You know, that's, you know, but that's, that's the place that I was spiritually where I was spiritually a lot of people don't go and all the reason why I was there spiritually because I spent a certain amount of time with God in prayer so in other words you know this is the best kind of analogy I can give it to you there's some people that will say imagine an elevator and you're on a third floor there are some spirits, people spiritually, they're on the third floor, but God will shoot you from the third floor to like the 10th floor. There are some people that can be on another level. They can be in God. Yeah, they have faith. They believe, but they're at a certain level. God will bring you high, way above, you know, where everybody is spiritually, like pastors and people that, that, are, that have been in positions for a long time. He'll take you and put you way above them. Like the revelation and your gifting and where spiritually, he'll put you way higher than where other people are. That's why the type of ministry that I have, I can reach different people. Reach different people. Absolutely. That's how that's how I know I'm not I'm not the same. Because I can reach and I can come to everybody's level and I can minister to them where they are. That's right. And a lot of people don't know how to do that. Yeah. And I've been blessed spiritually to where not only can I minister to people, but I also can feel your pain. And I also I can also hear from God in different ways. And that's very hard for a lot of people to do because they can't decipher between their flesh, yeah. them, and what's God. Yeah. So what God did with me was spiritually... He took me to a certain level in him to where he gave me eyes to see spiritually. Uh, foreknowledge, foresight, to see up ahead. Most people see near, but the way my spiritual gift works, I can see far. I can see what's getting ready to happen way <laughs> down the line. And that's where, that's the kind of gifting that he put in my life and to reach certain people just like yep. what I truly believe, just like you being in this car, yep. it wasn't for a reason. And for us going to that wrong location, yep. it wasn't for no reason. Mm -hmm. Because I don't just, one thing about it, I don't believe in coincidence. Mm -hmm. I believe in predestination. Mm -hmm. Meaning every moment is predestined by God, is ordained by God. Yep. And you know, and that, that comes to me where I think about the scripture where he says the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, meaning I'm going to order your steps. I'm going to lead you. I'm going to follow you. I'm going to I'm gonna show you which way to go. Mm -hmm. You're going to follow me. Mm -hmm. And you know what's crazy? How me and my lifestyle and, and thing, you know, I'm not perfect and how I am, even, you know, even as even as I begin to grow spiritually, God began to show me how to how to correct things and how to get it right mm. and how to get closer to him. It's by your heart. Yeah. <laughs> it's not about even yeah. though I'm messed up and that I have I have faults and I have sins that never separated me from God. What kept me closer to him was my relationship. Like I was explaining to you, it's not even about who you are, yeah. it's about your heart. So now, this, I know for I know for a fact you were in this car for a reason. That's right. <laughs> you were in this car for a reason. I definitely feel it. I got yeah, chills all yeah, over my body. You know, it's crazy <laughs> because you know why? When I look back and I think about like the word of God and everything about what he was talking about. Now, you know how messed up David was. Messed up David was. Mm -hmm. David yeah. was an adulterer. He was a murderer. Yeah. David was messed up. But that's not what got David after God. He was a man after God's own heart. Yep. Yep. He saw God with tears. Like he, David was messed up, 
but he was seeking God. He was a man after God's heart. Mm -hmm. He wanted God, but David could never get it right. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you how yeah. David, how you know David couldn't get it right. It was to the point. It was so bad. See, David had a lust problem, mm -hmm. and it was so bad to the point when David died. The way that you know how they checked to see if David was dead, <laughs> they sent a woman in there. Dang. <laughs> because David loved women. <laughs> yep. So they was like, oh, yeah, he's dead. He ain't even, he ain't even <laughs> There ain't nothing going on down there. <laughs> when that woman came by, he didn't look nothing. Yeah. That's how they knew David was dead. Wow. Because they sent a woman in there. <laughs> ain't that so? <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. David was so messed up, mm. but he was a man after God's own heart. Yeah, yeah. That's something. See, I have so much revelation and stuff out of the word of God. I know for a fact. It's not about being perfect. It's about where your heart is. So I've always held on to that. I've held on to that because I know I wasn't perfect, but I also, I got the correct teaching that I needed to get to. And see me, I didn't get religion. That, that's the difference. When you get religion, you gonna feel bad. But you know what spirituality does? Spirituality gives you hope that you can get to God and get back to where you need to be. Or you can be totally like changed. Like there's hope. Yep. Every man that has this hope, he purifies himself. You know what God looks at? If you have a hope to live right. <laughs> if you have a hope. Yeah. Like if you got like a hope, man, like God, I really want to get this right. And I really want to do better for you. And God, I feel bad about what I do. If you have a hope, he looks at that. Like, you know what? He really is trying. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so look, when he, when he sees that you're really trying and you know you have conviction. Mm -hmm. Like, Lord, I really feel bad about this. Like, mm -hmm. about I feel bad about what I just did. I feel bad about the cheating, the lying, the yeah. lusting. Yeah. I feel bad about it. You know, he looks at that. He looks at all of that. Yeah. 